Good morning, buenos dias, bonjour, bonjour, nanyang yo, aloha, kakaha, kia, welcome back to the vlog. Hope you enjoyed me getting ready for distance teaching. Since everybody's distance learning, mine is distance teaching. My little setup right there, I'm really happy with it. Don't mind the mess right there with all the papers. Guess what happened this morning? While I was in the middle of class, my husband called me that the car stalled or it's not turning on. And I told him, I can't help you. I'm, I'm staring at my student in the face right now. And the thing with distance learning is if you disconnect with a student, especially one in elementary school for just a few minutes, you lose that student. It's hard to get them back. I told him as soon as I'm done with her, I'll try to help you, which is why I'm a little rushed right now. I thought I would have these 25 minutes in between classes to prepare this activity for my 11 o'clock class. A little tip I have for you this morning is if you don't know what kind of coverage you have, whether it's through your credit cards or maybe an extended warranty or something, take some time to figure out what it is that you have because as soon as I finished my class, I uh, went through all my documents right there that I showed you to see, uh, do we have roadside assistance or something? And I'm telling you, even though we try to be as organized as possible, sometimes you're never really done being organized. There's always something that escapes you or that still needs preparing. So for us, it's finding where we have our coverage with whom and what it covers. At least I didn't have that much to laminate, which is why I had left it for this morning. I just didn't expect any of this stuff to happen. Okay, that last one is done. Just gonna cut them and take off. Good afternoon, buena tarde, buen après-midi, buen pomerillo, añón yo, aloha, ah, oh, good grief. Welcome back to the vlog. I just got back from my 11 to 12 class. We do reading and phonics, so we're doing long and short vowels today. I have a four and a six-year-old who's just started kindergarten in August. Right now, I'm just checking the mail on my way back to the house since I go on foot. I just stopped by the mailbox, pick up the mail, and sort it immediately because I'm just trying to get into the habit of not leaving things for later. You know how we have a mail section or like a, I don't know, those hanging organizers where you put the mail and say, I'll get to it later. Later never came. So I'm getting into the habit of dealing with things in the moment. As for yesterday's mishap with the car, oh, hang on, this one has to do with my Intibio. Anyway, yesterday's mishap with the car, it turns out that the battery was dying because our car, our vehicle uh, has a manual transmission. My husband is able to push start it, but 
That's just a temporary fix. So this morning, our neighbor, he took him to AutoZone this morning to pick up a new battery. He installed it and left for work. I don't know at what time I'll see him again today, but I actually stopped working around his schedule ever since I got students into my schedule because it's more fixed. So there have been days where uh, he'll call me, ask me for a favor or something, and I have to tell him, I'm in the middle of class, can't help. I get phone calls from family members who I used to take care of during the day, and I tell them, I'm in the middle of class, can't talk now. It's a bit of a transition to go from that, but <laughs> transition is the military family's middle name. I transitioned from two part-time jobs in school to completely unemployed stay-at-home spouse to now, I guess, part-time work from home spouse because I have three students, five different classes, one homework help. I also have my home business, which I started operating again in the months of September. Just had to show you how cute she's being. But I totally miss when she did the stretch. My dogs distract me with their cuteness, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, August I stopped my home business so that I could focus on scheduling my students in a way that worked for everybody because I have students in different time zones. I have Eastern time, Central time, and Hawaii time right here locally. Some of them are online and others are in person, like my 11 to 12. And it took a bit of time to find that healthy balance I mentioned the other day. So now that I finally figured things out. I started running my home business again uh, before yesterday, letting my customers know I am here. This is still going. It's just, I've been busy. <laughs> you guys, total brain fart. I was working on my phone and received a customer order that I started working with until I realized, hey, this is something I could show them. So here we go. I got the products ordered, all ready to go. Before I pack them, I weigh them look online to see what the most affordable or most um, attractive shipping price is because I am someone who absolutely hates paying for shipping. So let's go over here. I'm not using anything fancy. You could probably get a scale uh, from the post office or not the post office, but USPS.com or uh, Amazon pirate ship. There are so many places you can get different scales. This one's just from Bed Bath & Beyond. Now this scale weighs in ounces and grams. So I just make sure that it's set to ounces because that's what the post office uses. I put everything in a stack and put it on there. I don't use the packaging or the actual box or envelope itself because if this already weighs like it does right here, it's already over a pound, then I know a padded envelope is going to be a lot more expensive than just sending it priority mail. Now in case you're unfamiliar with priority mail, first class mail, uh, what is it, priority express and other shipping options, I'm going to give you a crash course in this. I made so many mistakes when I was shipping out my first few orders. I lost money, which is nobody's fault. You know, I had to do research or learn from experience because I thought honestly that priority shipping was the cheapest shipping when in fact if I'm gonna mail out a lipstick if I send this first class which is for a certain weight and below then this will actually turn out to be between three and four dollar shipping then packages that are a little heavier but still not like this light first class will still turn out to be 460. don't quote me on these numbers i'm giving you an estimate i'm trying to be as precise as possible and all these prices are through pirate ship i really have to stress right now that this is not sponsored this is a service i use a lot of my friends with home businesses use and we like it it's discounted shipping they do work with usps the united states postal service so it's legit <laughs> just letting you know also not sponsored so yes those are first class now in this case because everything weighs over a pound and i'm not even including packaging i'm not including the box it's going to be in i have to do some research right now normally i do it on my phone on the app you can download the usps app or you can just save the pirate ship website to your home page and access it more easily. I'm just gonna go over here to my computer and check what my options are. I'm gonna try for the first time ever to show you what it is that I'm doing. So I'm gonna open my browser, 
gonna go to pirateship.com. You don't have to create an account just to get rates, but I already do have an account. I'm gonna put in here my zip code. I can't show you because all the information is saved. So you're gonna see my email address and personal information. So just know you put in your zip code, in this case, my zip code, where it's going to, that zip code. Here you're gonna choose the option. We already know soft pack, padded, or flat, flat envelopes are out of the question because this is going to be a lot pricier and then you have priority flat rates uh, no matter where it's going and no matter how much it weighs this will always be the price so you could see here a flat rate envelope is 715 this is what I'm thinking of using a small flat rate box it's gonna be 765 no matter what and as you can see here the retail price let me see if I can make this larger for you the retail price is 830 this is what you're gonna pay over at the post office no matter what because it's flat rate the rate is not going to change I do however think that all those items I showed you won't fit in a small flat rate box so I'm going to go for regional rates as you can see it's not gonna vary that much because I'm actually mailing it here in Ireland but let's say that I was gonna ship it to Puerto Rico I'm gonna type in a zip code for Puerto Rico and show you the difference okay as you can see flat rate has not changed it's still 715 for the envelope it's still 765 for the flat rate box but when you look for regional it's down here regional flat box a because it's going to puerto rico the region is farther it's twelve dollars ten cents as opposed to the 768 because it's going right here in island for the sake of education, I'm going to do the other options just to show you why I'm not using a padded envelope right now, which is what I mostly use. The zip codes are already set in there. I do have to put dimensions and weight in here just because it's not flat rate. Remember, flat rate means that no matter what it is, it's going to be the same price. So let's say that my envelope measures nine inches in length, six, inch, six inches in width, excuse me. Um, this one in particular weighs one pound, but for now I'm going to show you the difference. If I'm going to mail a lipstick, which I don't know, let's just say it's six ounces, which is nothing. See, this is what I was telling you, it's 367. And that's a first class package. First class doesn't mean that it's fancy or they get special treatment. It's just a regular package. Now, if it's going ground, you can see that it's a little pricier and this I would never charge my customers. Over at the post office, it's $5 retail. Also forgot to add that this is the price going to Puerto Rico. If I were to mail from Hawaii to Hawaii, it would still be the same price. I'm gonna change the zip code right now so you can see. Okay, this is shipping Hawaii to Hawaii. It's even a little lower, just a few cents, because again, it's in island. It's not going to the other ocean, but the difference is not even that much. Now let's look at the package going in island, Hawaii to Hawaii with the weight that we have right now. It weighed one, uh, one pound, two ounces, I believe. See, it's $7 priority. It's not even giving me the first class option because you can't mail first class items that weigh over a pound. So just to get the first class rate, let's put in here 15 ounces, which is just on the edge. Here's a first class package. It's five dollars as opposed to mailing it a priority flat rate which is at seven dollars you still save a little more in first class packages but again it's up to a pound now that i know what my rates are i'm gonna go for the regional box which again was 7.68 i believe yep here we go regional flat rate box you can see it, it has the name right there on the side now at the post office this is something i also learned from experience you're only going to find small medium and large flat rate boxes and envelopes but things like regional rate a regional rate b you have to order those online you simply go to usps.com ask for boxes they don't charge you for them they come in a pack of 10 i believe or you can order singles you only pay for them when you're going to put postage on them now I just come over here to my closet. You can see I have these ribbons set up. These are my packing peanuts. Then over here, I have some pre-cut contact paper to the size of the mailing labels, which I just print out. I also have here the packing tape. So I just have everything together in one place. So I don't have to 
do more, go here, go there. As you can see, mailing boxes in one place, materials over here, printer, and ah, at least this is just in one spot. So I'm gonna grab some ribbon and I'll meet you back in the kitchen. Now that I have that, I'm gonna grab my products and get to making it nice and cute. That's just a simple touch. I'm not gonna get all fancy with bows and everything because it's just a simple order. It's not a gift order. This is just something I wanna say, oh hey, here's a little gift for you, free gift of purchase, which is a limited edition item. Now this totally skipped my mind because I never recorded myself doing this, but I normally grab a basket full of packing peanuts and the tape I showed you. But for now, I'll just set up the box without that stuff. Try to play Tetris in here so everything is safe and if the box gets all smashed up the products don't get damaged and i try to always give my customers a little bit of love so i added this i have some samples on the other side and i'm going to write a handwritten note in just a few minutes i'm going to grab the packing peanuts throw them in there and grab the tape and close the box then i'm going to buy the post stitch on a pirate ship post it in there and this is what you got well, this is something. I always leave one mask in the car for myself, and I think my husband took all of them out. I can't find one. I found a scrunchie. Oh, I think that was with this whole car dying thing. He emptied the car for the tow truck, and uh, now I don't have a mask. Oh, yay. They were just in here in this reusable bag. Shop small. Yes, there are three in here. See, we always have masks in the car. <laughs> I mean, it's part of life now, you know? Why not leave them in the car like sunglasses? Okay, I'm gonna drop these off. See, got two of them right here. And head back, no muss, no fuss. I'm in pain, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad something interesting happened. I blamed him, but it really wasn't his fault. Mm-hmm. He was sitting down. He was sitting down, and I pulled. Huh, I, I pulled him really hard to get him off the couch, and the couch slid, and this bottom part of the couch um, got my ankle. <laughs> this is funny. Oh, my eyes are watering. Not broken. Sorry. I know it's not broken. It just really hurts. Um, relax it. If I relax it, it goes down. It hurts. You want me to relax it? Ah! <laughs> 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 I'm not crying. My eyes watered. The little one is enjoying the show. Lala. ¿Qué pasó? <laughs>